Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Adrodal's Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be showcasing how to use the missiles on the Sheridan missile. This is an incredibly fun tank to use in game modes. It was absolutely game-breaking and irritating the fight in pubs, but now that it's only available in fun modes, I actually like to use it a lot myself. It's one of the only tanks I use in gravity because of the fact that missiles absolutely launch people away from you. Missiles can be a bit tricky to use however so in today's video i'll be showcasing just how to use them and uh, how to become a better missile player so let's start off with getting your hands on the sheridan missile right now you have five days and seven hours left at the time of recording to get this vehicle you can get it for free if you play 150 games in any fun mode for example burning games is currently out so yeah you can get it for 150 games in burning games or you can get it for probably about 200 battles in pubs as you get two missiles for each victory in regular games and three for every fun mode so pretty easy to get your hands on the vehicle it's free and even if you don't have enough time to get it and you still want to get the vehicle you can actually gold your way to the end of the event i wouldn't necessarily say it's worth it because the tank only sells for 10 gold but it is still an incredibly fun tank to get your hands on when it comes to my loadout i am running 20 missiles 10 standard ammo and 10 high explosives you really want to have a lot of missiles because if you run out of them that is technically your premium ammunition and if you run out of premium ammo you're not going to have a lot of pen so here we are in our first battle we're on faust now burning games is actually pretty good to use for how to use the missiles now the way missiles work is wherever you tilt the camera or wherever you look is where they're going to fly so you usually want to shoot them in third person if you want to shoot for specific weak spots and there's somebody in front of you and they're a one shot then yeah, you can shoot the missile directly at a weak spot in first person. But for the mo majority of shots, you want to loop them over. Sometimes you can lock your gun up if you want to use sniper view. You can lock your gun in the air and then shoot. Uh, but that's a little tricky to do. So we're going to see if we can spot anybody here. And we'll see if we can use the missiles. There you go. We got an enemy sharing a missile. You're going to notice how I aim the gun up. And then I just loop it down on the opponent. As long as you're looking at your opponent, it's pretty easy to use the missiles. Now, you can have some trick shots. There's people out there that can loop missiles behind armor and cover and everything. But for me, I just shoot the missile up and then down. And there you go. It's pretty dang easy to shoot the missiles. Just up down like an artillery they're kind of cringe i'm not gonna lie but as you can see we've already been able to get a pretty decent chunk of damage now in a situation like this it's usually more beneficial just to fire your normal ammo because missiles as much as they're going to help you aren't always going to be a good option in every situation so you don't need to shoot missiles when you always use the tank your ap is obviously going to have much better shell velocity and it's still a better round for the majority of situations i only shoot missiles when i can stay in cover and i know that i can basically guaranteed hit one so for example this sheridan missile i can't hit this guy unless i try to missile him these are the shots that are a bit trickier when you have to loop them around cover. They're pretty hard to hit. So overall, not the easiest shots. Don't let yourself feel too bad if you miss those because I don't even hit them myself. Let's keep on going. We got the patent in front of us. And uh, again, I'm not going to shoot a missile and I can just push the patent here and get a nice uh, bonking. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have fired a missile. Game did not like me too much there. But nice thing about burning games is we have two lives. Even if we get a little blood in our first life, we can always use our second life. So our WZ is going to finish that guy off. We have two Sheridan missiles here. I'm going to go for the one off to the side first. And a bonk. There you go. Nice 640 slap. The thing just hits so dang hard. Now we might die because that... Yeah, that player is on second life. So, unfortunately, we did get finished off. But that's not too much of a problem because now we're on second life. Unfortunately, burning games actually kind of penalizes you for camping it's not a problem but it's something that you definitely are going to be a little cautious about in a tank like the sheridan missile if this hits i'll be very very impressed nah it actually probably wasn't that far off i think we looped it right i just wasn't fully on target all right well our wz is pushing in i'm gonna try and uh, get some damage out if we can let's see sheridan missiles right here so let's loop that missile down and around no unfortunate we also got spotted but you'll notice how whenever you're using missiles you always want to try and guess where your opponent is it's not the easiest thing to do again firing standard ammo for the majority of shots like that one would have been pretty easy 
but let's make our way around the corner. Thank you very much for the healing E50M. Oh, I appreciate it. Let's see. We got the enemy AMX-50B around here. All right. Well, this is one of those shots that I'm, uh, well, maybe we should shoot a missile for. I don't really think it's worth it, though. This guy looks like he's going to YOLO me, so I'm just going to go over the ridge, and I think he knows who I am because look at how much that guy's tunneling me. But we just juked him, went around the corner, and he really didn't have the opportunity to hit us. Now, this here is an example of a sniper mode missile shot. They're pretty easy to shoot, as you can see. They're not going to go anywhere. There's zero dispersion with missiles. So if you want to hit a guaranteed shot, you can go into sniper mode. It's pretty easy to do, and you're always going to guaranteed hit them. Missiles are also great if you want to hit any hatches. So if I want to shoot at this chieftain hatch, there you go. It's an instant hit because of the fact that, again, there's no dispersion with the missiles. So that is kind of the generic overview of how the Sheridan missile works. You can loop them down on your opponents. If you have general line of sight, you just... Tilt your gun up, and then shoot, and then loop it down. Very easy to do. You saw me do that on the TVP. You saw me do it on the Sheridan Missile. Very easy. But for the majority of shots, I'm just going to load standard ammo. That way, it's going to hit 99% of the time and get the job done. Missiles are definitely a bit of a learning curve. They're easier to maneuver on mobile if you want to actually get them around buildings and do trick shots. Mobile is better. But if you want easy, just artillery-like shots like you saw me doing on the TVP, then it's actually a lot easier on PC. Overall, the Sheridan Missile, it's just kind of a bop. So let's do one more game. Let's see if we can hit some more special shots. Up against us, we have two Sheridan missiles once again. It makes sense. Everybody is basically going to be spamming the vehicle, as it is right now, like, given away for free to everybody. So we'll see what we can do. Up against us, we have a 50B, 40.05. Okay, we got some nasties, but, um... Yeah, they actually have a lot of nasty tanks. I would say the missile is not the best vehicle for burning games. It's a lot better if you want to use it in gravity, as I said. Uprising it is broken as hell. Uh, so there's certain game modes where it's a lot better than others. There you go. Nice shot into the enemy Sheridan missile. That is a perfect example where you don't want to shoot a missile. Obviously, the shell velocity of the missile would not have been fast enough. And that guy would have gotten around cover before we got our shell out. So in this situation, it's a lot smarter to shoot standard ammo. Again, exact same situation for that 4005. Don't bother shooting a missile if you're not going to hit it to begin with. So our 268 version 4 absolutely slaps that enemy and we're gonna shoot another standard shell into that enemy sheridan missile just like that we've already been able to deal a pretty crazy amount of damage we got uh, an enemy sheridan missile in mid who we're gonna try and loop a missile into and oh that missile was very close to hitting unfortunately as you saw uh maybe a little bit of a misplay on my shot or something like that but in the end it missed by just an inch all right, well, he's going to shoot a missile at me, but... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, <laughs> I, I banged the corner of my mouse into the uh, into the keyboard and it shot. But that's fine. We're not spotted as it is, so we're just going to drive over here. That Sheridan's backing up. All right, well, let's see. We got uh, the Sheridan missile over here, and yeah, right into him. Now, when it comes to shooting people on the move, if you shoot a missile, you have to pre-aim where they're going to go. Just like how, let's say you're in a Caliban and you've got really slow shell velocity, if you're in a tank like the Sheridan missile, your really, really slow missile is not going to help you all too much. So, let's see if we can get out of here. Let's try and deal with the heavies. This thing does have a lot of pen, which is quite nasty. So, maybe we can get some shells out into these guys over here. Let's see. We've got the E5, who we're going to try and just loop a shell right into. Ah, a little bit of a bad shot for me. I have super high DPI in my mouse, so it can be tricky to hit them. As I said on mobile, it's a bit easier to loop the missiles just because you can instantly use auto-aim to look at weak spots. But for the most part, ah, oh, that was just a bad shot, and I poked my turret. So, uh, yeah, another good example of where missiles aren't always the best. This is a good example. Uh, I'm just going to heal my V4, and maybe he'll heal us back, or not. I kind of always hope that my teammates are going to heal me whenever I heal them, but uh, unfortunately, this is not one of those. Oh, he did heal me. There you go. All right, well, let's try and loop another missile into the Fosh. There you go, right into the hatch. So, once again, they're tricky to use because you have to pre-basically aim where you want. Uh, it, it can be a little hard to do that, but as long as you aim... 
it's fine. So let's let's tilt our turret up. Let's aim it on the Fosh, and boom! There you go, another easy shot right into his tank. We're just bleeding him like crazy, but he is getting health back, so all this bleeding we're doing really isn't doing all too much in the grand scheme of things. Let's tilt our gun up in the air again, and aim it on his hatch. There you go. You can see why the missiles are kind of broken once you get the hang of them. There's, uh, there's really not much skill. You just, you just tilt your gun up and you lock it in the air. So we'll see if we can do that again. And there you go. Oh, there you go again. I mean, it's so stupid what this tank is able to get away with. You can see our Type 71 is getting some massive bleeds into this Fosh. And this is, by the way, why I carry so many missiles. Because in a situation like this, if you have more missiles, it is mu that was a little angering, I'm not gonna lie. But, as I was saying, in a situation like this, it's much better to have a lot of missiles than not a lot, because you're gonna use them. So, we got the 60 TP in mid. Um, I'm gonna just shoot him in the side. Oh, okay. Or I'm gonna get screwed. Alright, well, I like getting screwed, apparently. And we also got shot by the Sheridan missile in our spawn. Well, nothing I can do about that. The game did not like me, so I got a very unfortunate circumstance thrown at me here. Alright, well... Not the best game so far for our team. I could die here, but I'm going to try and get the Sheridan missile off to the side. Let's uh, just poke this bush and wait. Hello? Senti buddy here. Huh. He really thought that the... Oh, there he is. Aiming and bonk! There you go. 816 damage shot into that enemy Sheridan missile. That's a pretty big slap, not going to lie. Ah, I really thought that would hit. Unfortunately, you can see the other Sheridan still camping. I actually know that guy, too. He's just kind of cringe this game, I'm not going to lie. Imagine camping the entire battle. Oh, well. Um, that is kind of the playstyle of the Sheridan missile, though. You camp the entire game, and uh, you ruin other people's fun. It's, it's kind of a boring tank in a lot of situations. I mean, it does have moments where it can be very fun. But the majority of games, it doesn't really do all too much, as you can see. Your reload is super long, and, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not always the most effective tank. We finished off that E5. Unfortunately, we have, like, uh, negative health at this point. That Fosh is probably gonna kill me. Uh, maybe not. Oh, well. The Fosh did kill me because of the fact that <laughs> I forgot in, uh, in burning games, when you kill somebody, you do actually take damage and die. Not a bad game, though. We were able, in total, to deal about 6,000 damage this battle. Have a pretty good chunk of missiles pen. A very good example of where the Sheridan missile is able to just bully opponents. So, we probably did top on our team, so I can't complain. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's a super fun take. It, it can be a bit annoying, and uh, you do feel a little useless sometimes when your missiles don't pen. But at the end of the day, I'll see you all in the next one, and let me know what you think about the take. Bye-bye.